What's going on guys, AFK Tech here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at putting this M.2 card into my 12th gen R420 PowerEd server. As you can see um, from some of the other videos that I recently posted, I'm currently working on upgrading my storage setup for my R420, which is ultimately just gonna be my network attached storage that I used. Um, so I ran into a little bit of a hiccup after installing those two 8 terabyte drives where I realized that the included uh, RAID controller, the H710 Mini, was not going to actually work to pass through to FreeNAS because not only was it going to be <clears throat> passing through, well one, it can't do pass through. So straight out of the gate, I can't um, pass through the drives individually to FreeNAS. So the only other option would have been to actually pass through the entire controller, which would have been a virtual disk. Um, and then I would have had to have used hardware RAID instead of ZFS or you know, an other software variety of RAID support. So what I ended up doing was actually completely unplugging the H710. I took it out of the R420 and then I put um, the hard drive straight onto the integrated um, SATA controller. So they're on a SATA 2 now, so the SATA 3 gig gigabit per second. Um, not an issue with hard drives. The reason, obviously, that everyone has upgraded to the SATA 6 is because they're looking for um, speeds that can actually handle what uh, SSDs can put out. Um, so if you were putting an SSD on it, you would be limiting yourself. So what I did, though, is I put that on there, and so now I'm going to pass through that entire controller. But the problem is I also want to have somewhere to put my VMs um, from ESXi. So what my solution is is actually using this 970 EVO. It's just a 250 gig and I got a, a PCIe slot adapter. So we're just gonna do a quick video today to actually go through just putting this in there and getting it to uh, work in ESXi. Um, I've read a little bit about it. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any issue. I don't have any idea how this would work just simply trying to boot from this if you were gonna be doing something where you installed something bare metal on the R420. So that's something to keep in mind. This is just looking at using this as uh, essentially a device for ESXi where I'm gonna put my VMs um, and my OS is so everything else will then get passed through to FreeNAS or wherever I use um, my storage in terms of whatever's in the front base. So let's go ahead and take a look at pulling this open. So just grab these tabs, go ahead and pull the server out. I've already got it all unplugged. Well, unplugged to the point where I can actually pull it out. Uh, no power hooked up to it, just the network cables. So go ahead and grab the lid off. So as you can see though, um, so this was originally where the H710 was in this area right here. Um, and what I did was, is I took the, the <clears throat> breakout cable from the back plane up front, um, moved it from this port um, where my middle finger's at to this one right here. So this these two ports actually use whatever RAID card is put in, um, whatever controller is put in right here. Um, and then this port right here actually uses the integrated SATA. So I went ahead and moved on to this. Um, some other interesting things to note with this is you'll lose activity indicators um, on, the, on the front. So where the drive indicators are here, um, usually you know you get your blink, blinking lights um, right here. That actually goes away because the back plane then doesn't have um, the same type of communication um, with the SATA controller. I guess it's just not supported. I don't really know the technical details. Um, somebody jump in in the comments below if you wanna explain that. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is actually just get these out of here and we're just going to put them into this PCIe expansion slot that I have right here. Um, my other one's taken up right now with a network card, um, so we're just going to put it right here. So let's go ahead and get those out. Alrighty, uh, let's go ahead and just get these boxes open. Uh, nothing fancy to really unbox here. I'll just show you guys what's in this uh, Vantec PCIe adapter um, that gives us our M.2 slot and something doesn't have it. It's completely butchering this uh, 9670 Evo Plus. So there's the 970 EVO Plus, um, nothing new here. You guys could probably go watch 100 reviews on this um, online, get the performance information. I love to call these bubblegum sticks, they're so tiny, it's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and get the adapter itself out. So I went down to Micro Center and picked this up, um, read some good reviews on it. So I think it'll do what I needed to do, it should pass through to ESXi. So this thing is super, super simple. You literally have a PCI by four here, four lanes, and then you have uh, a spot to put an actual M.2 drive. Um, so I'm gonna have to put on the half height expansion, uh, I don't know, which adapter right here, bracket, um, so that I can put it into that slot that's actually open because I took the full expansion for the network card. 
Um, looks like pretty simple instructions. Nothing we're gonna need. May wanna look at the screw setup. It's maybe a little different from what I am used to. So we'll go ahead and get that um, M.2 installed in here and get it inside of the R420. Bam! Okay, so we finally got this thing installed. Um, I was having some trouble with the screw. It's kind of interesting how this actual mechanism works. There's not really a good way that it stops the screw. So I guess what happens is, is it kind of got a little bit of play to it. Let me see if I can get that focused for you guys. Focusing. Yeah, so just as you can see here, it's kind of got a little play to it still. I don't know if I put it in wrong. I read the instructions, but um, not a big deal. I mean, this thing's not going to get thrown around, so not the end of the world. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing installed now. I'll just pull the server out of the rack real quick. So I'll zoom in down here to where we're actually going to be putting it in. So this expansion card comes right out. So I went ahead and rebooted the R420 and moved a couple of VMs over to the NVMe data store and then ran a benchmark on my PF Sense box in the shell and got over a million kilobytes a second. So we're looking at well over a hundred that uh, well over a thousand megabytes a second, perfectly in line with what I would expect to see. Um, so this this uh, adapter and drive worked perfectly for what I was needing to use it for. No issues recognizing it at all. Popped right up in ESXi. Um, I didn't see any issues. I'll let you guys know if I come upon anything as I'm you know, working into this further. But otherwise, uh, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any comments or if you have any questions. Uh, like the video if you liked it. And be sure you're subscribed if you're not. Also, um, please bookmark the Amazon link down in the description. Um, if you buy stuff on Amazon, I'll get a little bit of a kickback and that helps me uh, get some more of this stuff so I can create content for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching.